Hey everybody, it's me, Ben, and I am speaking with an American accent. But what is an accent? Where does it come from? How does it work? That's today's question. First, we'll define an accent. An accent is a smaller part of a bigger thing called a dialect. An accent refers to the way a language is pronounced, but a dialect refers to the way a language is pronounced as well as the grammatical rules used in speech. Every single person has an accent. That's just, just the way it is. Your accent is a result of how, when, and where you learned the language that you were speaking in and it tells other people about you. No one has a single fixed accent based just on their experiences. Actually, we can change our accents and we do often change them consciously or unconsciously. People can change their accent based on where they are or who they're speaking to or even a life-changing event can affect your accent. But where do accents in general come from? Well, we know that there are several factors that can influence an accent, and two big ones would be isolation and human nature. I know human nature is kind of vague. Here's what we mean by this. Um, humans love being in groups. Humans love being part of a larger society. And when you're part of a group, you behave in a similar fashion. You exhibit how you belong in the group. This happens with clothing. This happens with uh, food culture and language is no different. So when a group becomes distinct, their use of language also becomes distinct. Okay, so imagine this. There's like a, a, a single group of people and they divide into two groups and there's group A and they're on one island. There's group B and they're on another island. They originally speak the same language, but now that they're divided geographically and socially, they're going to evolve distinct dialects or distinct accents. And over time, these things might diverge so much so that they sound like completely different languages. Humans are a well-traveled species, and along the way, we've had so many distinct groups meet other distinct groups, and their accents reflect these changes. Some traits get lost, some traits get picked up, some things get smashed together and melded. No accent is inherently better than another accent. While you might hear some folks talk about stuff like accentless English, what they're referring to is stuff like received pronunciation in the UK or the sort of thing we associate with the upper Midwest in the United States, general English or standard English even. These are called the reference varieties because if you read pronunciation guides and dictionaries in English, it will often be one of those accents that you're learning to pronounce a word in. And they're also the accents that are often taught to foreign students who are learning English. But make no mistake, these are accents Nonetheless, there is no accentless speech. I mean, I guess maybe a robot could do something like that, but then it'd be a robot accent. Check and mate, Skynet. So what does your accent say about you? It depends on who's listening. Uh, somebody might be able to trace your accent to a particular part of a country. For instance, they might say, oh, this guy's from London, or this lady's from Baltimore. Or they might just be able to get a more general idea, a general geographic area. So, oh, he's probably from England, or she's probably from the States. In the vast majority of languages, different accents or dialects are thought to have a higher or a lower social status. Let's think of it in terms of prestige. For example, English speakers in the United States might look down on a Southern accent, but it's kind of exclusive to that part of the world. So someone from Australia or the United Kingdom might not completely get the stereotypes in play here. However, they will have their own stereotypes about other accents or dialects in their neck of the global woods. And these stereotypes or these judgments will also not completely carry over or translate to another English speaking area. So imagine there's an, an accent joke of some sort in a British film or in a TV show. Well, your friends from the United States might not completely get it. Another huge point about accents 
This perception of a high or a low status accent, it's not inherent to the accent or the dialect at all. We know this because if we play dialects of English for people who don't speak English, I have no clue which one is better or worse than the other one. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can like it down here. You can write a comment or subscribe. And if you're just hanging out, we have some other videos as well, uh, all of which are, give me a second. Oh yeah, these are all great. So stay tuned for our next episode.